let us graph this equation, uh, a trig equation. Y is equal to sine x minus pi by 2. Now, whenever you have pi by 2, this should give you a clear indication that this is in radians. So what do we know about radians? So you know, or you should know, pi radians, pi red is equal to 180 degree. <clears throat> Okay, or a full turn is 360 degree. So 180 degree you know is half a turn. So half a turn, uh, you can take this as a definition. We can prove this very easily, but that's not the focus. So if pi radians or pi radians is 180 degree, pi by 2 radians means it is 90 degree. Okay, so this I like to think in terms of uh, degrees so I'll change this radians to degrees so this is equivalent to say this is sine x minus 90 okay so though this is given in degrees I'm thinking in terms of so this is given in radians and but I'm going to draw it in degrees and then you can convert this into radians that's not a big I'll show you how to do that okay now whenever you draw a sine graph or a cosine graph uh, it's better to go over these six uh, crucial uh, elements. Okay, the first is the baseline. The baseline, okay, so let me write the general formula of any sine or cosine graph. Y, uh, I'll write it here. So Y is equal to A sine BX plus C plus D. Now, all these letters have, uh, is related with one of this. A stands for the amplitude or the coefficient of sine or cosine tells you the amplitude of the, of the graph. B, from B you can find the period. From C you can say what's the horizontal shift, okay, whether that means whether the graph, the sine graph has moved to the right or left. Okay. So, a better analogy when you are drawing a parabola or a cubic equation you know if it is plus c it has moved to the left and if it is minus c it has moved to the right so the same thing can be applied here if you've got a plus number the sine graph has moved to the left okay so you can say this is uh, if it has moved to the right it is that number should be negative and if it has moved to the right sorry left it is positive okay don't need to remember this but uh, just now this is this tells me the baseline okay so this is corresponding to the baseline so this corresponds to bl okay and this also tells me whether the graph has gone up or down okay and amplitude tells me the stretch factor in a way okay so let me change color so yeah First, let us, uh, what's the baseline? The baseline is, so this, can I write this is same as, let me delete this. Can I write this as, uh, just for the sake of writing, can I write this plus zero? Okay, so D corresponds to zero. So your baseline is zero. So your sine graph starts at zero. So this is, your sine graph starts at zero. The amplitude is the coefficient of sine. So the coefficient of sine is 1. So the amplitude is 1. Okay. Now maximum and minimum can be found by these two. Your maximum. So this is your maximum. And this is your minimum. This is your minimum. And we just say that this is your baseline. Okay. So 0 is the baseline. So maximum so this is the distance between maximum and baseline or the distance between minimum and baseline is the amplitude so we can say or in other words you can make up the formula maximum is baseline plus amplitude and minimum is baseline minus amplitude so your maximum is 0 plus 1 which is 1 and minimum is 0 minus 1 which is negative 1 so this your maximum is 1 and your minimum is negative 1. Okay, now I'll uh, I'll do the period first. Okay, so let me highlight this. 
I want to move this a bit down. I want to do a working year. Starting point tells me your sine graph, if it does, is a normal sine graph starts at zero. Now this is not a normal graph, this is a shifted uh, or a horizontally shifted sine graph. So if a normal sine graph, where means a normal sine graph means I'm talking about y is equal to sine x. Okay, y is equal to sine x starts at 0, 0. That you already, you should be knowing that. If you have seen my previous video, I've discussed that. So here to find the starting point, I have to set this equal to 0. Okay, so I'm going to say, okay, to find the starting point, I have to set this equal to 0 or this equal to 0. So I can say, let x minus 90 be equal to 0. So x is 90. So your starting point is 90 degree. Okay. You start at 90 degree. And the period is, the formula of period is uh, 360 divided by the coefficient of coefficient of x. Okay. And the coefficient of x is 1. So if you divide 360 by 1, that will be 360. Okay. Now we have to plot the points. So this is your starting point. Your sine graph starts at 0, 0. And here, as it is shifted 90, it will start at 90, 0. So this is your starting point. Okay. Then it goes up because it's a positive sine graph. So it reaches the maximum at 180. Uh, reaches the baseline at 270. Reaches, becomes the minimum at 360. And this is one full cycle. But we need to go up to 0. So let me, let me draw the graph. So the graph... Uh, so it would look like this. Let me use the violet color. So the sine graph or the shifted sine graph looks like this. It's okay. So this is now if you want to change, if you want to complete the cycle up to zero, after baseline it has to go to minimum. So this is your so the graph would look like this. Okay. So now <coughs> this is. Okay, I want you to think this graph, I'll show you, this graph is same as minus cos x. Okay, I want you to think about this. I'm not going to explain this in this video. Uh, try it. I'll show you on the graphic calculator. This and this are the same. Okay, so let me show you on the graphic calculator how to draw this. So, this is my graphic calculator and menu graph. And I'll first look at the setting. My, I should change this into degrees first, okay? Because we are, I've drawn the graph. I've drawn the graph in degrees, so I'll type in sine x minus 90. I'll also check my scale. So I go Shift V window or F3. I do. I want to trig scale. So I want to scale from 0 to 450. And a scale of 90 is fine, okay? And that's fine. You want maximum is 1, so 1 1.6 is fine. So if you want to make it a good scale, minus 2 to 2, it's a scale of point or scale of 1 window. Okay, so that you can see the maximum minimum. So this is your sine graph, okay? So let us check. Maximum is at 180, so you go maximum. 180, you got the maximum of 1. And the minimum is at 360. So you go minimum. Okay. And uh, your y-intercept is at 0, negative 1. So you go g-sol and y-intercept is 0, negative 1. So, and if you want to change this into, if you want to change this into, uh, say, degrees, or, sorry, in radians, it's not that difficult. I'll show you a very, uh, a very efficient technique. So let me draw complete the graph here. So this is like this. So if you want to change this into, so this is 90, which is pi by 2. 180 is pi. Okay, so this is 1 pi, sorry, half pi, or 1 over 2 pi. This is 2 over 2 pi, that is pi. This is 3 over 2 pi, that is 3 pi by 2. Can you see the logic? So this is 1 over 2 pi. This is 2 over 2 pi. This is 3 over 2 pi. This is 4 over 2 pi, which is 2 pi. And this is 5 over 
2 pi, which is 5 pi by 2. And this is the graph in radians. Okay, see you in the next video.